Hey guys, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how you can give a performance boost to your Windows 10 PC in 8 quick steps. I'm sure if you perform all the 8 steps, then you will definitely observe a performance boost in your Windows 10 PC. So let's get started. Number 1 is changing Windows settings. In this step, we'll be changing the status of the permission granted by us to the Windows. So first of all, go to your Windows settings and then go to privacy. Here in general tab, Disable all the things here, turn everything to off. After that, go to location and then toggle off your location services. Then click here on change, click yes and again toggle it off. Now come to camera. Here also toggle it directly off or you can do app by app. I only will toggle it on for the Skype. Now microphone. Same for the microphone, I'll only toggle it on for the Skype. And now come to the notifications. Here also you can disable all the apps present here. Because it is of no need, it just takes the RAM of your PC. So here you can directly do this. Now come to speech inking and typing, there is no work here. Now radios. Radios again. There's only one app that I already disabled. Now come to background apps. This is important. So here you will be disabling the background apps. Now I've already disabled all the apps here. So what you can do is you can just toggle on any one or two apps that are really important to do. For example, settings. You can toggle settings on. What I've done is I've toggle off all the background apps. So it depends on you which app you want to toggle on in the background. Now go to system and system. Go to notification and action. Here toggle everything to offer. Not the first one, toggle everything below to offer. Now also app by app toggle them off. Maybe not the settings because they are important, they give important notifications related to the setting of your PC. So that's it for the first step. Number two is disabling startup apps. For this, just right click on your taskbar and go to task manager. Yes. Now here, go to startup and in startup, disable all the apps which are unnecessary. So I have disabled the delayed launcher. You can disable any app by right clicking on it and toggle it enable or disable. So click on disable. I've already disabled the apps which are of no need to my PC on the startup. So you have to do the same. So that's it for this step. Number three is reduce runtime services. For this, type here are you in run and here type ms config. Now press enter, yes, now wait for it to load, once it loads, now go to services, here you can disable all the unnecessary services, so first of all, click here, hide all Microsoft services, so by no mistake, you cannot, now you cannot disable any of the Microsoft services. Now here, select all the services which have no need for you. So, Google Update Services, Google Update Services again, Razer Game Manager, Razer Central Services. So, NVIDIA Telemetry Container. Or, or what you can do is disable all, or enable all when you need them, or disable all. So, I recommend you to disable all the settings which are unnecessary here, and then apply these settings, and click OK. So it requires a restart, so you can re they only will work once you restart your PC. So restart your PC immediately once you change the setting. I'll exit without restart. Now that's it for the third step. Now let's come to step number four. In this step, we'll be reducing the visual effects of a PC. So search this PC. Right click here and go to its properties. 
Now go to advanced system settings and here under performance click on settings. Here adjust it for best performance. Now disabling all these options will surely give a performance boost to your PC. Now apply these settings and click on OK. OK again. So that's it for the first step. Five. Defragment and optimize wipes. So search here defragment and optimize drive. Here optimize all your drives. So I'll be showing you how to optimize it by optimizing my C drive. So I have selected my C drive and now I'm clicking on no. Yes. So it's running. So first first it will analyze my drive and after it it will optimize it for best performance so it will take time so i'll minimize it so that's it for the fifth step six is deleting temporary files so in this step we'll be deleting all the unwanted files from our pc so search one and here type temp temp right now there is no file in my temp folder all you have to do is select all the files in your temporary folder and delete them so again i'll be searching one and this time with a percentage sign temp and again a percentage sign null percentage here also i'll delete all the files skip the files which are showing any error so that's it you have deleted all the unwanted files from your pc that's it for the sixth step. Step number seven is disk cleanup. So go to your file explorer. Here go to this PC and right click on your C drive. Here go to its properties and click on disk cleanup. In disk cleanup select downloaded program files, temporary internet files, thumbnails, temporary files and recyclement. And click on OK delete files it will take some time now it is deleted all the unwanted files which were remaining in a PC so that's it for the step number 7 the last step we will be installing the antivirus software of your PC because an antivirus software keeps running in the background and takes a lot of your PC's RAM hence reducing the performance and I assure you it will not cause any harm to your PC as Windows Defender is sufficient for defending your PC from any threats and viruses so to disable or uninstall your antivirus software go to settings and go to apps here wait for all your apps to load so right now I'm not having any antivirus software so all you have to do is here select your antivirus software like I've selected Google Chrome and click on uninstall. So once you uninstall it, you will surely experience a performance boost in your PC. So that's it for the last step. So perform all the 8 steps and will surely help you in enhancing the performance of your Windows 10 PC. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates. Thank you and have a nice day.